Good morning. Welcome to the Hakodate Morning Market and Seaside Walk. That in front of us is the entrance to the morning market. We're going to walk through there and keep going. We're going to take you to what many considered to be the most beautiful Starbucks in Japan. I thought you said the most beautiful, beautiful partner. Oh, okay, let's get moving here. Uh, we had breakfast at the place called Donburi Yokocho. And it was There's good. A, it was very good. There's a sign for it. You can see that Ikura right there on the top of it. A little pricey. Two people was about um, um, $30, 3,500 yen about, right? Mm -hmm. We both had a set. We both did have a set. Yours was, what, what was in your donburi? Uh, Ikura and Ika, squid. Okay. And I had the hotate, which is scallops and the ikura, the fish eggs. And those scallops were the best, freshest they look I've good. ever had. They have melons here too, which is not seafood. And they're a little pricey, but they say that they're ex excellent quality melons. What do you mean it's not seafood? See? Well, it's seafood if it's by the sea. Look at this massive crab here. Peter was playing with him earlier. Mm -hmm. Show him what happened to your finger. Yeah, well, it's, don't, almost fainted. I think we can see the, the, this. How much is this one? They don't have a price for it. It's priceless. Yeah, but look he at, is it's huge. Be somebody's food, dinners. Yeah. What would you do if you just reached out and grabbed your camera? Um, I freak out. Look at that mouth on him. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. At least they give him clean water, and uh, he's gonna be tasty. The morning market is one of the big attractions of the city of Hakodate. Visiting here, you gotta stop here. Um, that that uh, donburi yokocho, donburi is just a bowl with rice in it and they put stuff on top of it. A kaisen don is, oh wow, look, Shit, at, the, look at the size of these mothers. There's a fly on there. Wow, buy in that, that one. is a big shellfish. They've already chopped it up and put it back inside the shell. One of them is There's 1,800 the, yen. Look at these scallops. Those scallops are massive. Huge. That's 800 yen for a boat. That's, that's pretty cheap, I think. I don't even know how much a scallop would be, though. Donburi is basically, you can see the signs for them. Everybody seems to sell them. It's a bowl of rice with a bunch of seafood on top of right. it. A, lo a lot of it, local stuff that is uh, caught right out here. This would be the sea urchin and crab. Yeah, the uni and the crab combination. This is the ikura with crab. So you have, there's many choices. Yeah, this uh, one seems to have a little bit of everything. What I was so surprised was we were here right when this place opened at six o'clock and people were already lining up to get into some of these Donburi restaurants, 6 a.m. Well, you want the fresh fish. Yeah, the, fish and we had the freshest. Yeah, it doesn't, fish does not get fresher over time. <laughs> so get here early. The place opens up at 6 a.m. Uh, it opens up a little bit earlier, but it's probably a good idea to get here at 6 a.m. because if you get here too early, some of the shops, because of the pandemic, uh, closed down, so there's not the same vibe. In you fact, said you were here five years ago, I right? was here five years ago and I was hitchhiking through the morning market. The vibe was much, much more vibrant, different, more touts out. There seemed to be, um, I don't know, it's just, it's just really tame compared to then. Let's walk a little slower through here. They have stuff in English. It looks like they've renovated some of the places. But in here you can buy the seafood. I guess, what is that, a vending machine? over there? Did yeah, it's a that? giant gachapon. Let's go check it out. Okay. I was looking at it earlier. Wow. 3,000 yen. You can hope to win. We're going to put my mask on. Hope to win. Uh... Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. So 3,000 yen. I'm not going to do it, but I'm not a gambler and I have no place to put this stuff. But yeah. I guess you put the 3,000 yen in the slot there. Push it and then it. Push the button. button and then right. one of these will open up. Well, no, you get a number. A number comes out and then you have to tell the this, this shop staff. Holy crap, is that a Dyson vacuum cleaner? Yeah, there's some good ones in here. There's a Nintendo Switch. Wow. A, uh, like a Roomba knockoff. I could use a coffee maker too right now because I need a coffee. There's a 1,000 yen one, which is a, a lot cheaper. And, I'm uh, sure it's rigged, though. 
It's probably rigged. You mean you might not you might not get anything? Is that basically? Look at I could use a squid pillow. That's kind of creepy. Squid from this deep sea. Look those, how big that thing those is. Lonely nights. Yeah. Curl right, let's up get with out your of here. Squid. That's kind of a neat concept. Nicholas, I, I just told you I can't do it. I have no. We have zero space, buddy. <laughs> the, first thing, the first thing I said was I'm not doing it. <laughs> Nicholas, Nicholas says do it. <laughs> and he gets fifty bucks. <laughs> Nicholas, I, told, I was like, I was like, I'm not gonna do it. We we have. Um, we, uh, we have very little space and we have to get on the motorcycle in about two hours. But I'll tell you what, I might be able to come back here tomorrow and then I'll do it. How's that? <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. Thanks, Nicholas. It's a happy guy. I'm not going to carry around a big squid, all right? You can just tie it around your neck. You can Wear tie it, like it around your neck. You look so nice on your motorcycle. By the way, Nick, I, I sent you a couple links for uh, donuts videos. Oh, right. Yeah, I we think, got that. <laughs> I think, uh, where did I send them? Wow, there's a dancing massive. Look at these big dancing crabs there. That's so big. Wow. I'd like to get one of those, Nicholas. It's like spider crabs. Those are huge. Yeah. So um, I have some news, everybody. I filmed here seven years ago, and I met a guy named Abuya-san. Abuya shop was down there on the corner. And we found out recently that um, his wife passed away, and because of the COVID uh, crisis, business was so bad he ended up closing off his shop and it's no longer there so uh, I wanted to take Peter to go meet him and, and, and see if we could film again but he's not yeah, his shop's gone unfortunate it's kind of yeah it was a really sad story one of the neighboring guys I asked him and he gave us the lowdown um, everybody seems to know everybody here uh, that was that was kind of bad he said quite a few shops actually closed yeah since quite the, a few shops pandemic. have and uh, they've sort of reorganized um, to try to make this stronger. So the services are better. It's a little bit more organized than before. But I was, I was sad to hear about Abuya-san. There's some Google reviews, Peter, mm -hmm. from viewers of Only in Japan that went in there after I'd live streamed going into Abuya's shop. Into abuya shop. shop. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we got a bunch of viewers that went in there writing, I'm here from, from John Dubs Only in Japan. I'm, I saw the live stream. Everybody loved it. He was so friendly and had a very authentic feeling in there because it was a family-run business. And, uh, yeah. All right, we got to get to this cafe because we have limited time, Peter. We want to bring you on with us on the trip, but we're, we don't have as much time as we want. We want to take you along the seaside here, which is right there. I want to get one of these rigs. Why don't we do a, a tour in one of those, John? Well, at the driving school, you could, you could actually study and get one of those licenses. And I could carry you in that scoop. You ride in the scoop, that would and be, I'll drive it. Can you what do, do you think? Can you do that on the, on the highway? Sure. Hey, William is planning to come here July 2023. Hope you can, I hope you can. I'm pretty sure you can. That would be cool if, if somebody could sit in there, lay down, yeah. and then you just drive. You bet. You bet. Let's do it. Wow. Let's do it. By the way, look behind you. That's where we stayed last night. The JR oh, right. Inn. Yeah. Hey, Arthur's here. Arthur Vandal. That's the JR Inn, and we stayed there. It's inside of the station because we it got nice. We arrived at uh, 10 p.m. Kind of tired. We went straight to the hotel. We didn't have to walk very far. It was inside the station. It was about um, $65 for a very nice room, 16 square meters, but it was a lot more spacious yeah, it was, it than was, uh, it looked because of the layout, the way they opened it up, the uh, sink and the toilet and the shower. Dude, it's a haunted mansion. No, it's not. That's the hotel we're staying at um, tonight. That's the La Vista, Hakodate Bay La Vista, which has the number one breakfast in Japan, and I have a permit to film it. Um, I'll believe it when I see it, when I eat it. You will be eating it. You'll be eating it a lot. 
tomorrow morning. That's the beauty lot, of a stretch goal, Peter. I want to know what this haunted mansion is. Oh, this in front of here? There's a lot of buildings in Hakodate that date back to um, the Meiji era. That They're still around. Most of them are, uh, look like this. It has a very Western style to it. The history of Hakodate is pretty interesting. Let's go to the seaside and yeah. walk uh, along the sea. This We're is where the ferry comes in. This is the ferry port. No, the, uh, the Aomori Hagodate ferry is a little bit further from here. Is it? Yeah. What's this one right over here? That's a different ferry. Okay, well, it's I a don't know ferry. where it goes, but the Aomori Hagodate ferry is a little, it's a couple of stations away. Not too far away. We have a beautiful day. There's a, like just a few wispy clouds in and we're gonna be riding on the motorcycle, trying to live stream while we're riding. Peter's got a, a helmet brace, so we'll be able to get something out on there. And we're riding pretty much straight to an onsen that is controlled by the tides. We don't wanna miss it. So we're about one kilometer away from the old brick warehouses. That's where we're heading. To show you a little bit of this before we uh, head back. We have to take the postcards from the Kickstarter project uh, to the Hakodate Central Post Office before we get to the motorcycle place. I think we got plenty of time. Famous last words. This is the really uh, cool hill here in Hakodate. Oh, where yeah. Where you can take the, uh, the tram, or what do you call it, like the, the gondola up to the top. That's where the night view Ouch. is. They say this is the number one, Nagasaki might disagree, but the number one city night view mm -hmm. is from Hakodate. the top of here on, on the uh, that hill that's coming in. Oh no, I think it's at uh, the red building, uh, Peter. That's the hotel we're staying in. Okay. La Vista? Yeah, it's got trees up on the top. It's got a hot spring on, on the roof. Neat. I think we could walk more yeah. towards the sea, right? Hey, Ike is here. Yeah, we did a stream on Peter's channel when we were riding. How did we do that? I have a, a mount on my helmet, and that I'll hook it up. That was so nice. Yeah, let's do that. I will. So stay tuned for that later on. The uh, sea does look nice. It isn't is this chillier beautiful? here, isn't it? It's a beautiful little port town. I love these, the, uh, the pines up in the hills here, the pine trees. When you come in with the ferry from Aomori, you can see this hill from quite a distance. So you know where Hakodate is despite being on the sea. Oh, dude, no. These Hokkaido crows, especially in this area. Look, he's just sitting there. He's gonna poop on that sign. No, he's not. He's in total control. Watch him. He's watching us. Wait till he has a cup of coffee. That's one of these Hokkaido crows. Hey. You know Toby? It's one of your drop, cousins? It's gonna drop a deuce, dude. If no. Oh, no, oh he, he did, did it. it! He did it! Oh, that's See? gross! Ah! Oh. Told you. He had that He's look in his eye. He's got a guilty face. Look. Oh my gosh. You want to go examine it? No. Oh, that was nasty. He had that look in his eye. I could see it. You can tell. Glint. You can't tell you when a bird's can't. gonna drop a deuce. I'm a crow Why do they whisperer. say drop a deuce? I don't know. I don't know. What is it, two? It sounds like something <laughs> in the military. Right. You must drop two and go. You can't Give keep me dropping. Two. You keep Give limited me two. to two. I want to find out what this yellow stately home is up here in the base of the hill. Do you see that over there? Oh, yeah. Megan, remind us. It's a number two. The deuce is two. <laughs> <There's a> Megan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Megan knows. Thanks, Megan. Is it a raven or a crow? It's a toby. That's what, that's what I call it. Cool. It's nice, it's very peaceful here. Um, Hakodate is a city. I think it's the second or third biggest city in, in uh, Hokkaido. I'm not sure if, it, if Asaikawa is bigger. I, I guess Hakodate is bigger. Sapporo being the, the biggest city. And it's, this is very Western influenced in a way. It's got street cars. It's got this kind of, um, I don't know, like uh, old San Francisco feel to it, maybe. Mm-hmm. 
It's a little bit of European, a little bit of old San Francisco. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got kind of a Scandinavian Scandinavian feel to it. Feel to it. So yeah. that house, which you didn't show, but when we come around the corner here, we'll see it's the old public hall of Hakodate. Okay. Oh, that the haunted house? No, 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 the one, the really kind of stately looking oh. uh, Georgian manor. Right in front of us, uh, you can see the uh, old brick buildings, the old brick warehouses. Do you see, it looks like triangles in the center. That's where, the, where, where our destination is. So we're gonna try to get there really quickly and uh, then we have to end the stream there because we got a lot of stuff to do. We have all the shout outs, Peter's holding them in his hand. So if you purchase that as an add-on for the Kickstarter. They'll be coming soon. We have a little bit of homework. And Satrio, yours is the most complicated. He wants us to speak in Indonesian. <laughs> like we're trying to translate, we're trying to figure it all out. Satrio. We'll do our very best, buddy. It's going to be hard. Even the, even the family mart looks nice here. Look at it. It looks like it's made out of wood. Instead of the usual plastic. When you get to Hokkaido, which is uh, the, the fourth of the, one of the four main islands of Japan. There's a lot of islands in Japan, but there's four main ones. Every island has its own kind of unique culture, its own foods, the vending machines, the convenience stores. When you walk in there, they have a very regional type of cuisine or foods or offerings, right? Mm -hmm. Here they have uh, in the machine special coffees and special drinks. Hokkaido only, they write, just to make sure that you don't forget where, where you, you are. are. Oh, now we can see it up there. That's the viewpoint, right? Up there. Yeah. Yeah, the view from night is spectacular down into the city below. Yeah. All the lights and the town and... I don't particularly want to go up there tonight, but do, is that something you're interested in? No, but if we get back in time on the bikes, I would like to ride up that hill. But and, you, you uh, don't want to go the cable car route, do you? No, not necessarily. Not, yeah, you know what? I think I can show the videos from 2017 and then pretend like we went up there. Does that count? Well, I just announced that, so I yeah, can't you, do that now. Damn, no. darn. So, Hotel La Vista Spa Resort. Yeah, that's one of the nicest in Hakodate. World's best breakfast. Yeah, and those, those, those huts on the left and the right is the, uh, the public, the hot spring baths. So you'll oh, be naked okay. on the roof looking oh, over the city. Let it all hang out. Well, unfortunately, yeah. For, for those down below? Well, for those who are watching. Hmm. Which is hopefully nobody, because you shouldn't be watching people taking a bath, sickos. So this is the fish uh, packing place, part of the market, I guess. Not all of it goes to the Ichiba. That's where, I don't know, that, that fish market is kind of touristy, don't you think? Yeah, and they're kind of aggressive. Well, the outer markets are kind of aggressive, yeah. They want you to come in and, and buy stuff. Yeah, Hakodate suffered big time as a result of uh, the inbound tourism stopping in 2020. And it's been really hard for the people here because it, a lot of it, they, they, ha, they sort of geared it towards foreign tourists, I think. There's a lot of English available. Um, they have English menus. They were ready. And then, boom, when yeah. the pandemic hit, um, a lot of people suffered. And I think you said 40 of the shops went out of business. Um, there's still a bunch left, but it's, it's still not, it's not the same. It's not the same. So it's going to be interesting when tourism does start. What do you guys think of Hakodate's morning market? I think it's kind of... Um, well, we didn't show them the whole the whole. Yeah, well, I, I have a couple of live streams where I did do that, but I think it's a little bit more generic and cleaned up and looks like mm. a theme park a little bit too much. I don't know. It, when you start losing family businesses, you, 
and you have open it up the chains, you kind of lose that uh, that feeling a little bit. Yeah, that's the hotel oh, we're this, staying check, in. Yeah, and check it out. I didn't realize, but the, the base of it is the original warehouse. They yeah. built the uh, hotel in the center of it. So that's pretty Hakodate cool. Hakodate Bay, La Vista, baby. That's oh, where we're staying. Oh, you can smell the ocean air. Do you smell that? I smell something. Woo. Smells like seafood. Yeah, well, look right next to us. It's a processing seafood. Oh, yeah, they're taking the stuff from the sea and munching it up in the ebikatsu. Yeah, this is a really neat area of Hakodate, similar to Otaru. Yeah, Otaru's got a, a very similar vibe. This bridge here, Kanai and I have a picture jumping on the bridge. Remember, you try to freeze frame it on the top when you jump. Ah. They have the best manhole covers in Japan. Manhole. The dancing happy squids of Hakodate. I cannot, cannot complain. Squid because um, Hakodate is quite famous for the squid. The areas that they fish in, you have Maguro down in the straits at the certain time between Oma, Aomori, and Hakodate. Mm -hmm. Mostly uh, Aomori fishermen through there, but some from Hokkaido here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Can you see up there between those two buildings? Which two? The, between the two buildings. It's kind of a, a red roofed, uh, the yellow building. That's the town hall, original town hall. Oh, wow. See it up there? Oh, yeah, right there. That's the original Hakodate town hall, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And yeah, I wish we had more time to kick around this town. I will not be eating dancing squid. That's the one thing that does make me cringe. When Live you, they, squid? Yeah, they cook it and it dances on the fire. I just feel bad. I don't know. <laughs> it's just torture yaki. I don't know what they call it. Uh, yeah. I think Wakayama is a place where they do. They still do that, but it's a cultural thing. Something nugui is... Uh, you're eating stuff that's still moving. Yeah. Nantoka nugui. Nigori, nigori? I can't remember. I just yeah. a word for it. Yeah, it's nice here. Yeah, beautiful. It's still not really open. Wow, last time I was here was 2017, hitchhike trip. Spent uh, two nights here recharging my jets. Space boat! There's no space boat here. Over there. That's not a space boat. It's just a boat. I can name it whatever I want. Well, you can and, and no like one's going to agree with you. Just because you have... Oh! Would you just take a dump over on the other side? How can you tell a crow apart? Ah! He looks guilty. What do you think? He's gonna drop a deuce? This guy doesn't have it in him yet. He doesn't have it in him yet? No. Really? No, he's not How do you ready. know it's not the same one? I'm positive. He looks he, this angry. Guy's, he's, this guy's younger. Gosh. He's toilet train writes in Daniel. <laughs> I hope so. There's a restroom behind us, sir. All right, this is, um, there's two shops of interest. In fact, there's lots of shops of interest here. This is a cool area to shop and walk around and stroll. Brick streets, yeah, this old is great. brick warehouses, red brick. Look at the windows, how clean they are. Mm -hmm. Shiny. There's shops, I believe, inside. There's, um, uh, I think there might be some, uh, some seafood places. This so, reminds me of Newport, Oregon. I was just there about 10 days ago. The same vibe in this tiny little port town. Yeah. And there's the sea. If you, if you get um, around to the other side of this uh, inlet here, you can look all the way to Honshu, which is a, a couple hour ferry ride. Now, anyone who comes to Hakodate, there's two there's, there's, there's a, a few chains, I believe, that are Hakodate only. This is one of them. This hamburger place called Lucky Piero. Piero means clown, I believe. Yeah. In, in Japanese, they call clowns Piero. I believe that's a ripped off from French. 
This is their main building, Peter. Yeah, it's creepy. It's you don't like How's clowns. I love burgers, but no, that, it's a good burger. Look at it? it. Well, look at it. It's right there. How do you get your mouth around that? Well, it's, it's quite it's quite hard. You look like a clown when you eat it. By the way, the moving food, odori gui. Uh, odori gui, yeah. Dancing. It's like dancing. dancing. Yeah. Yep. That opens at nine. Who eats a burger at nine thirty in the morning? I guess jet lag, hungry people. Yeah, this is a little creepy. Why does he have a one star in his eye? It's, I don't know. Clowns. I. I just think it's creepy. There's a vending machine. You can get there. Um, what is that? Clam chowder or something? I forget. Lucky. Um, what does it say? Lucky. Lucky Piero. Hakurate Lucky Piero. Uh, it's a garana, which is, I guess, like a cola. Lucky. Okay. Yeah. They have their own drinks. And here's the, one of the most beautiful Starbucks in the world. It's its own, they, they took one of the old warehouses and turned it into a, a Starbucks. It just opened, and uh, I'm going to buy Peter a coffee. Yes, you are. And we're going to go over your, the shout-outs and prepare yes, for are. this trip. And then we're going to go back to the hotel double time. Yes, we are. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way things go here. We've got to um, then put in the postcards in the mail yeah. oh, and look, get to somebody our Somebody else is filming, filming the inside of it. It is a beautiful yeah, Starbucks. The second floor has a balcony that overlooks um, the sea. Nice. Oh, look, they got the chestnut frap frap. Look at this. The Maron Cassis. Wow. This is cool. There's another pier over there. Look, they're taking over the town. Oh, yeah, that's even creepier. That looks like a, a horror house. Looks like you don't, you go in, you don't come out. Clowns, and I just don't, I don't like clowns. Well, it's obviously working for Hakodate. Yeah. These clowns you like are clowns? everywhere. No, I don't. Yeah. I, I like burgers. Do people, oh, I want to be a clown. They don't do that anymore. It's like a 1950s thing, right? Bozo did that. Yeah. Then that Netflix show came out about uh, Gacy. Oh, was he a clown? He was a serial killer that Jeez. dressed as a clown. Oh, gosh. That's Peter's channel, Homicide, Inc. Check, yeah, it, check out. it out. True crime that passes the test of time, Homicide, Inc. Get it wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, it's trending on Apple, isn't it? Uh, Amazon. Amazon it's Trending podcasts. on Amazon. It's, start, it's growing pretty good. All right, we're going to get a coffee in here. Um, I don't know. Should, should we take you inside? Nicholas, can we spend your money on coffee instead? <laughs> $50 worth of Piero, Lucky Piero burgers and coffee? Yeah, can we get Piero <laughs> burgers instead of uh, Gachapon? Is that okay? I'm going to buy Kanai and uh, Peter burgers for dinner. All right, let's go. Let's yeah, go, let's go get, inside. get something and we can sit down really quickly and then I'll end the live stream. All right. All right, you guys are still with us for this, okay. All right, inside we go. Wow, that's nice. Do you I'm want any get sweets a, here? I'm just gonna get a drip. A honjutsu? So, it's nice. Uh, honjutsu no kohi agatemare desu ka? Ah, jia, total size. So, oh no. So, tori hitotsu to shoto hitotsu kudasai. Mochi kaerere. Mochi kaerere. Hai. Drink ote watashi de daijoumasu ka? Hai. Chanko shinkaku mo dete orimashita ga asa hoha no de daijoumasu ka? Oh, you want a cinnamon roll? Mo tabeta. Ah, mo? Shoshou to mo tabeta. Ah, jia cinnamon roll hitotsu. Cinnamon roll hitotsu de. Hai. I'll take a bite of your cinnamon roll. Yeah, I know you will. Kichira atatamete mo mochi kaerere. Ah, hai. I had a chocolate scone yesterday. No, that's just more easier. This, kino tabeta scone tabeta. So. So I have a story about Starbucks. I will talk over John right now. I was at the Starbucks in Portland, Oregon, inside a store that will be unmentioned, and 
after going there like three or four times on my trip, I finally had enough. It was filthy. There was garbage all over behind the counter. I hear you. You understand that, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. There's garbage all over behind the counter, and it was just com in complete disarray and disorganization. So I wrote him a letter wow. to Starbucks, and I complained. And Very nice. They needed a kick in the butt. And then they're sending a gift card for, uh, to apologize. What? Sometimes you got to do that. What? I had trouble with Starbucks. Oh. Not trouble, but I. Uh, a bad experience. Shedding, guys. Do you want? But what I said to them was that I lived in Japan and you would never ever see things out of place and garbage on the floor, ah, hi. especially at a Starbucks. But it's completely out of line. You want to go upstairs? Sure. And Nikai is, uh, there's an outdoor balcony up there. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, they stamp the receipts if it's a Ryoshu show, which is a, a uh, receipt used for business. And they put the, the uh, company seal on it. Hi. Hi, Come on. Oh, hi, Let's take this Come on. upstairs. It looks like they're filming oh, something here. Come on. Hey, Come on. Look, they use like this amazing wood too. It's a very old, heavy wood, and you can. When, you, yeah, that's when great. you step on it, you can feel, right, this wood. It creaks. It is a very nice uh, worn wood, I think, just maybe recycled from one of the buildings or something. Yeah, this is, this is warehouse flooring. Yeah. Really cool spot. Let's go sit outside here. Nice spot. Can we just skip the motorcycle ride? You just want to stay at Starbucks? Come on. Nicholas says, do it. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, you got it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Love the lights, too. These old gas, gas uh, looking lights here. Hey, that's my cinnamon roll. You're like, I didn't want it. Just give me a bite. And it just smelled so good. Well, why it didn't you get one? It was change. on sale. It, made, it was on sale? Yeah, did you alcohol your hands? Because I saw you touching yourself. You didn't even use your shibori and you manhandled my cinnamon roll. You I probably should take all of it, huh? Hey, no. Well, you're going to complain. Why didn't... That's more than a bite. That's half. No, it's not. Besides, you didn't pay for it. Nick did. Thank you, Nicholas. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you get to wait 28 days for that to come through. But thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so we, we don't have a lot of time. We have to be at the motorcycle no. place before 10 to set up, and we have a tide to meet. The tide, if it goes out, we can't go in the onsen. Right. Right? It's kind of weird like that. A camera hog, are you going to share it? Thank you. A little bit. Well, what do, you, do you have anything you want to say? Final comments? It's a wonderfully delicious cinnamon roll. Thank Dude, you. Gosh. That's all you're getting. There, I licked it. Oh, what a beautiful little town. Kids, if you don't want your friends to, to steal your food, lick it. Lick the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody 
<laughs> takes it. They really like you. <laughs> right. I don't lick your food. I'm just kidding, kids. <laughs> don't lick your food. And don't announce that you're licking your food. Do it yeah. secretly, so then when they do eat it, it's nice and if moist. If you do, you'll be, you'll be, you'll wind up in that Lucky Piero overnight oh. after the shop closes. <laughs> you didn't know I licked it before you ate it, did you? I licked it. It's good coffee. Well, Great atmosphere. Coffee. Horrible company. Who does that? Does it, can anyone? Roll. Would anyone admit it that they lick their food so no one will take it? Yeah, come on. You'd have to lick each individual right, French right, fry. Let's, let's get back to the beautiful to... sites where yeah. we are and a wonderful ride we're going to have ahead of us. So, we have two new bikes for today. I'm going to take the camera now. All right, I'll share because I'm a bigger person than you. See, I'm bigger than you. Look at how small John looks in comparison. Talk about the trip. So we got two different motorcycles for this trip. We are, I'm going to be on the Yamaha XSR 900, which is a naked. And as I mentioned last night, I will be fully clothed, but the bike is naked. John will be on a CB 400, which was what he trained on at, uh, what was the name of that motorcycle school you went uh, to? Koyama. Koyama uh, training. And um, so he'll be on that and he will keep it upright. He's promised you want me. This? Is that the one you licked? No, it's the skin, the outside. No, thank you. Why, you only want the inside? Yeah, the part that's safe from your licking. Um, so we will be getting those in an hour and a half. So we don't have a whole lot of time and we will get on them and head for that onsen. I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be really cool. Have you actually been there before? No, I <clears throat> haven't been to this side of Hokkaido. It's gonna be pretty neat too. Um, yeah. When you come to Hakodate, you usually don't leave the city because the city is the attraction. But maybe you should. So I'm kind of curious about. Well, you don't have to hold it. You just can, trying to show them how small you are. Well, you're like holding it like this. Here, yeah, this is how I said to the camera. To make you look even smaller than you already are. I've seen like people on uh, like BBC on interviews. This is how they line up their camera. <laughs> Great. Hi everybody. Oh hi Angela. Nice to see <laughs> right. you again. Good morning should, to I? everybody. <laughs> like, it's like you're supposed to have it like this. Okay. okay. Right. Thank you, Maestro. I try. This is his master class. No, it's not. I did do a BBC uh, World interview for the Olympics. They they uh, called me up, and um, I was pretty nervous because it's like the main BBC World on TV, right? Like on the line now, we have John Dobb, and they, they could see me um, through Skype, I think. But I couldn't see them. So they didn't tell me they wouldn't be able to see the reporter. I and they weren't they would, wearing any clothes? I don't know. I can't even confirm or deny that. And I didn't even see a copy of it. <laughs> so I don't know what it was like. But I, I had to adjust really quickly. So they could say, sorry, Angela, I can't see you. So I can't do this interview. I was, I was like, <laughs> I don't know if she's laughing or her, her demeanor. So it's harder. But you, end up, you did end up doing it. I ended up doing it. But it wasn't what I thought because the um, uh, fixer didn't tell me that you won't have a feed. Because I've had interviews... Uh, on TV where I was had a, a live feed of the reporter right. from the camera, but I, BBC didn't do that. And uh, I don't know, it came out okay, but I think it was not thinking, thinking as clearly because mm -hmm. I was kind of trying to decipher, why can't I see them? Did you use your British accent so they'd understand you? <laughs> and, uh, no, I did. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> This is how, Johnny, this yes. is how my grandmother talked to Don, me. Don, did they call you Don Job? And my grandmother was, is, uh, uh, Eng was English and uh, yeah, she's no longer here, but uh, mm, she would speak to me in a very thick, thick accent. Jason. Hi, Jason. Sasha Booty. Are you, <laughs> Don Juan. <laughs> um, your, your grandmother was from England, have you said? Yeah, saying? she emigrated in 19, uh, in the, in the teens, a hundred and something years ago. What? Did she lick food? Like you do? I guess so. So other people wouldn't get it? She made these minced meat pies. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I thought it had meat in it. So mm -hmm. I didn't eat them until I was like a teenager because I didn't think, I don't want to have a meat pie. But I learned that it wasn't real meat. I guess they were just teasing me. What's in it then? It's like apples and raisins or something. Oh, okay, okay. 
I don't know why they call it minced meat pie. Mm. How about blood pudding? I don't know if we had that. We had giblet gravy. Ugh. I'd rather have blood pudding. All sorts of neat English foods. We never had a Sunday roast, though. I think that's a very uh, English thing. Sunday roasts are awesome. I love bangers and mash. Pigs in a blanket? Yeah. <laughs> that's just a great name. Bangers and mash. Bangers and mash, mate. We won't be able to find that here. All right, everybody, we're gonna have to review these. Haggis, I think, is a Scottish dish. <laughs> Scotland up there. That was good. When I was in Scotland, I had it, but it, I think haggis. it was a tourist haggis. That's yeah. like brains or something, isn't it? I don't know what it is, but they shove it all in the stomach and then cook God. that. It's good, though. It was good. Good Lord, man. A couple of I beers. I can't stomach that kind of bottle stuff. Bottle of scotch. That's what no pun intended. Gosh. Um, nip, nips and Taddies writes in peso. I don't, I can't, don't clarify. Yeah, we don't need to know what that is. This is breakfast time. This, so this is sort of the main area. So you can walk, as you can, as you saw very, very um, quickly from JR Station to, uh, you know, Hakodate to this, to this um, Starbucks here. This is sort of the main thing. And you can even keep on walking up to the top of the hill there. That's mm -hmm. not that far away. Um, so what makes Hakodate kind of a cool city is it's quite compact and you can get around uh, quickly. Uh, rent a bicycle might be the best way to do it, but we're renting motorcycles. So we will see you in uh, maybe a few hours. Yeah, we'll get the bikes uh, before long and uh, we'll try to do a live stream from the bikes. Um, where probably maybe halfway through or maybe when we get to the... Yeah, after the bath or maybe yeah, at the, the bath. bath. Yeah. yeah. We'll so. see you then. Probably like, what is that, like one at 12 or 1 lunchtime? Yeah, we get it. It's... We're getting it in an hour and 20 minutes. We got an hour and 20 minutes. So we got to we got to yeah, we got to get cooking. out of here in 10 minutes. Got to go to the post office. All right, office. everybody. We got to go to the post office. We're sending the uh, postcards right. from Hakodate. Hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. Thank you for backing that Kickstarter yeah. project. We're here for that. <laughs> Chris, I'm one of you. Oh my god. Give him some of your lick cinnamon roll. Ooh. Ah. Having dog fights. Should I give them a cinnamon <laughs> roll? Will that, will that appease them? Should we run? We should run. Imi Wakaranai. Imi Wakaranai, dog fight. Dog fight. Ano. So, 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 so. Chotto, nancy no, ken ka shite Tobu togi ne. So, so. All right, everybody. <laughs> Next day. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Enjoy, enjoy the view of, of Hakodate through. This is the view we actually see through this uh, Something grate. just went under. Was that a seal? It's a comorant, I believe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Reenacting Top Gun. <laughs>